one, two. Hi team, we have a wonderful problem in front of us. It's from the 53 Math MTEL. It's a uh, number nine on the 53 Math MTEL. It's an elementary math MTEL for te teachers that want to be math specialists in grades um, K through six. But this exam in particular is also really good if uh, you're preparing to take, you know, the general curriculum and there's some good problems for the general curriculum. There's also some really good problems for, you know, the 4751 um, and the, the core pro ideas for the 09. So I want to look at this problem and, you know, we're looking at it right now together. Even before I read it, guess what? I see a paragraph, a paragraph of a problem. So this, this gives me an idea that this is going to involve, you know, a, a word problem. And one of the key ideas with word problems is to read them over until you get a mental image of what's going on. And you want to try and connect it in, you know, a very concrete event so that you can make sense of it. I have a lot of teachers, many times they come to word problems and they say, this is the hardest thing for me. Well, part of it definitely is the part of getting the comprehension of, of what they're even talking about. And to do that, you got to visualize. you got to see the scenario in your head. Because once I describe the scenario in their head, they're like, oh, yeah, it's easy. Well, that's what you have to do. That's what you have to start working on if you struggle with this, is to get that visual in your head. Because once you have it, the math really isn't that bad. So let's take a closer look. With word problems, you not only want to read it, but you want to visualize what you're seeing. So first, I'm going to read it. A community group is selling tickets to a spaghetti supper fundraising event. Adult tickets cost $9 each and children's tickets cost $6. The cost of food and supplies for the event is $197. If the goal is to make a $1,600 profit for the spaghetti supper, and if 120 adult tickets are sold, how many children's tickets will need to be sold in order to reach the goal? Now I want you to read it. Pause it right now. Read it over to yourself. When you read these sentences, as best as possible, go from the start to the end. Beginning to the end. Because each one of the lines has information. So do that now. Okay, now you've read it over. I'm hoping that you're, you're, you're practicing this idea of visualizing here. So there's this community group. And they're selling all these tickets. All right. And there's this big for a big event. Now there are adult tickets, so so adults, their tickets cost nine dollars. And the kids, well, their tickets cost six dollars. And the food, the food, you know, you're down negative ninety-seven dollars. Because why did I put negative? Because that's how much you have to dish out. Now you'd like to make a profit. You'd like to make a profit of $1,600. And you're told that 120 adult tickets, you know, 120 adults come. They sell 120 adult tickets. So if we're thinking about the, how much money you make with the adults, that's like 120 adults times 9, we get you the portion that come out of the adult fund. This key helps me break down the problem. It gets me breaks through each of the, it organizes each of the pieces of information and by the time I'm done with the key, I have a lot better chances of answering this problem. Whereas if I was just doing it in my head, I'd be like the adults are nine, the, the kids are 120, I mean six, I, the food is 92,000, what the, and I'd get very confused. So by putting it on the page, I have it laid out. Now I can go and I can start using my, ba my basic math to solve it. I want to come up with this equation to solve how, for how many kids' tickets are sold. I know that you know there, for, there are 120 adults in terms of profit. Not now. There are 120 adults, and each one of their tickets costs $9. And if I added that to you know the amount of kids, which I don't know, but I do know it costs six dollars. These two, this amount is the total amount that you're going to make off the parent, the adults, and this is the amount you're going to make off the kids. 
you got to factor in that you also have to cover the cost of all the hamburgers and supplies. When is when are those amounts going to add up to something that's at least 1600? Well, now we go to the next step. Now we look at this problem in a little bit more detail. And we and uh, we, we really are going to now we have an algebra problem that you could solve for. And most teachers at this point are like, oh, now I know what you do. I do 9 times 120. What do you get? You know, and I'm not that great at this. It's very easy to make a careless mistake with the multiplication. So guess what? I'm going to do it out. And I don't look at this as, as uh, anything more than just making sure I don't make a careless mistake. Because it's very easy when you're tired to make these mistakes. So do out the work. Don't do it in your head. Plus, this is going to be 6C minus 97 equals 1600. Now I could, I'm going to combine a bunch of terms. Um, part of what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be uh, adding the opposite of 197 to both sides. What is it? Why would I do that? Well, th the idea is that you're going to not only have to make $1,600, but you're going to have to also make on top of that $197 just to break even. Because um, you want to make at least $1,600 profit. So what do we have here? We really have $1,797 that you have to make. Okay, that cancels off this. Let's go a little further. Make some room here. Now all this is is algebra. That's all it is. So we have, I think I'm going to, I like working down, not up. So I have this plus the 6C equals my 797. I subtract this amount here. I get 6C, these cancel out, is equal to, I do the subtraction. And it's really easy. It's really easy to make a mistake in any one of these subtraction things. So you got to take your time. I got that right there. Take your time. Divide by 6. Divide by 6. I hope I did this right. I'm landing the plane now. Am I actually going to be able to land this plane accurately? We're going to find out in a few seconds. You, define, you decide how you want to do the division. This is one way to do it. So I'm going to do, do it this old-fashioned way. Drop down to 1, 6 goes into 11 again once, times, uh, that would be 6, oops, cut it into here, but we'll just imagine that's okay. It would be 5, drop down to 7, 6 goes into the 57 about 9 times. And there's going to there's gonna be a remainder here. There's going to be a remainder, and basically there's going to be a decimal. So even when I do this out, that's 3. It's going to be something like, this is the amount of tickets you need to sell. Now, 119.5, what does that mean? Well, you can't sell half a ticket, right? You can't sell half a ticket. you got to sell a full ticket. So although the answer comes out to the minimum is, you know, if you sold 119 tickets and a half. But you know what? You're going to have to round that up to 120. Okay, team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Hope you enjoyed this. If you need help, check out one of the MTEL Math workshops or go to the website for tutoring. Take care. Bye-bye. Hi, team. I wanted to uh, encourage everyone, if you have time, to check out one of the MTEL Math workshops. This is a great time to make new connections in the math. It's two days, one or two day workshop. Uh, you can go to GoMath and find out more information. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.